Hi everybody, it's Luke over Galaxy Tech Review and today we've got a product from BeGrit. This is the BeGrit N10 portable wireless Bluetooth speaker. Uh, they do come in a few different colors. You can pick this guy up on Amazon for a low price of $15.99. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check that out. Now, this guy is impressive. It has a ton of features packed into a small footprint. Uh, we're very impressed with this guy all around for a $15.99 price point. Yeah, kind of can't go wrong with this. Uh, if you want to get somebody a Bluetooth speaker for Christmas or the holidays or a birthday or something coming up, this guy is definitely uh, one that we endorse. Uh, I know it's an off-brand. I know it's kind of uh, an odd thing to endorse, but when you see all the features on it, uh, it's pretty hard to beat for the price point. Now, it comes in three different colors, an orange and black, a gray and black, and a blue and black. On Amazon, they currently have the gray and the blue. Uh, we have the gray model here as our review unit. Uh, if we go... Uh, and look at some of the specifications. I'll wait to actually uh, do those uh, when we open it up because uh, they give you a booklet inside that will explain them a little bit and uh, a little bit easier to see than on this box. Uh, this box is okay as a gift box. It's not bad. Uh, the, the packaging's there. Uh, it's it's uh, fine for presentation. Uh, nothing special as far as the box goes. Uh, but you can obviously stream this via Bluetooth. You have a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio in cable. Uh, so that you can hook up devices that don't have Bluetooth. You have a TF slot, which is a micro SD card slot that will read MP3 encoded files. There is a microphone, so you can take hands-free calls. Uh, you can hook this up to your computer, your smartphone, a rechargeable lithium-ion battery, and uh, it does have a full-size USB port on the back of it as well so that you can use a flash drive that contains MP3 files as well. Now, on top of all of that, there is an FM radio function in this as well. And yes, it is still $15.99. Uh, more importantly, you're going to want to see what it looks like and how it sounds. So let's get into that really quickly. Uh, this is the speaker itself. I will pull all this out and then show you guys, let me get this box out of the way here and some of this packaging. Uh, and here is the speaker itself. So this is what the speaker looks like. It's very compact, as you can see. Uh, fits in the palm of my hand there and is not huge at all. It's got a three watt. It's got three watts. Uh, three, three watt speaker in it. Uh, it ha it has the bigger logo at the top, and it also has this nice uh, these nice feet on the bottom to keep it stationary on your desk or whatever surface you've got it on. Nice metal front plate here, and it's got a rubberized texture. Uh, it's kind of like an ABS plastic coated in this nice soft touch uh, rubberized material here. So they did a great job on the design of this. Again. A $15 speaker. Uh, you've got your buttons up here. This is your reverse track and forward track, which are also your um, volume up and volume down buttons. Your multifunction button here denoted by this uh, phone icon for picking up phone calls. Uh, and then you have a play pause button as well, which will also uh, change modes between your inputs, which you will see on the back here. Now this is your DC input to recharge the device. It is a standard USB uh, to micro USB cable that they give you here. Uh, you can use any USB to micro USB cable you would like and you can plug it into your PC or laptop USB uh, and you can or if you have a wall adapter you can uh, plug that in and it'll work just fine to recharge this. They also give you a 3.5 millimeter to uh, 3.5 millimeter aux cable here uh, so that you can hook up devices that don't have Bluetooth and also when you're using the FM radio function uh, you'll plug this guy in and it will act as an antenna to pick up uh, FM radio um, and it does work. I will show you that in just a moment as well. Uh, on the back again a full-size USB port for flash drives that contain uh, MP3 files, a TF card slot or S micro SD card slot that also will pick up anything that is uh, MP3 encoded. Uh, it will not play WAV files as far as I know. They only list MP3s. I have not tested WAV files to date. Uh, dedicated on and off switch and your line in jack for your 3.5 millimeter uh, aux cable. Now they it comes pre-installed with this little lanyard so you can carry it around if you want. It's very easy to remove if you don't. Um, I have left it on just 
just because this is the way it's going to come in packaging for you guys. And I would just leave this guy on my desk, so I probably wouldn't use the lanyard myself. So let's take a look at the manual they give you really quickly. They give you a manual. It's well laid out. It's all in English. It's kind of just kind of a three, three, well, two-sided basically. Uh, they give you this, the standard safeguards here. They do give you, uh, and I will leave this up if you want to uh, freeze the video and take a look here. You, uh, you know, your DC in, uh, it'll, it'll be red. Uh, and then when it's charging in, the red will uh, stay lit until your N10 is fully charged. Uh, your line is in is uh, for you know iPhone, iPod, MP3 players. Uh, through uh, you can play all that stuff to, uh, on off devices that do not have a uh, Bluetooth capability. And a micro SD cards preloaded with MP3 sounds. Uh, your USB flash drives with MP3 sounds. Your dedicated on/off button, uh, and then your uh, quick click on the these buttons here. Uh, you're going to quick click to uh, go to the next or uh, previous track and you're going to hold it down to increase or decrease the volume. So your multifunction button will uh, uh, operate as a hands-free speaker by just clicking to answer or end the phone call. And your uh, play pause button will play and pause sound when you're listening to music. And then it will also change uh, your inputs. So it'll go from the USB, it'll check the USB, it'll check the uh, micro SD card, it'll check the line in, uh, and if it doesn't detect a device on the line in, it will switch over to FM radio, which is actually pretty cool too. So again, uh, supports USB sound cards uh, or, or uh, flash drives, MP3 music, a micro SD MP3 music. Speaker is a 40 millimeter, uh, 1.57 inch diameter uh, at 3 watts. Your signal to noise ratio is here. Your battery is a built in 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp battery. Your charge uh, charging voltage is 5 volts um, at a negative positive 0.25 volts there. Uh, so You've got this all here for you. It's very well laid out. Uh, they give you a uh, uh, email that you can email them to if you have any problems with it. They do warranty this guy. Now, they don't have the exact warranty on this, but I believe uh, it, you're going to be buying this through Amazon. So you're going to at least get 30 days from Amazon as a return, uh, and then they will take over after that. Uh, and I will try to uh, get you an update on that and leave that in the description below. So we're going to just turn this guy on with the dedicated switch. And your you're going to Bluetooth see... Bluetooth device is ready to pair. So basically it even talks to you. It tells you your Bluetooth right device is ready to pair. Uh, it's going to have a blinking blue light in the upper right hand corner saying that we are ready to pair to Bluetooth. So what I'm going to do is just pair it up quickly to my Android phone here. I have a, Ga a Galaxy Note Edge uh, running KitKat. And it's very simple. You go to Bluetooth and then you scan. Uh, and it's going to come up as the N10. So we're going to click on that. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Now, this is connected to phone and media audio, which means I can play audio and I can also take phone calls on it. Uh, again, the phone calls were excellent uh, when we tried them. You wouldn't want to be across the room with it. But if it's sitting on your desk, you're going to have no problems with the microphone that's built into this, picking up your voice. Uh, we didn't have any problems during test calls. I'm going to play back a little bit of music here for you so that you can uh, hear the sound. So as you heard, the sound was nice and crisp and clear. Uh, it, it has some bass to it, but if you're looking for something that's got booming bass, this guy might not be the one you're looking for. Uh, but it does have some bass. It is there. It's a good all-around sound. Uh, so that is definitely a plus as well. With all the other things that are thrown into this at a $15.99 price point, you kind of can't go wrong with it. It's very small, easy to take with you. Uh, it uses uh, micro SD full-size USB flash drives, uh, line in for aux, and then if we plug this guy in, aux input motor, we will click on this. And it'll cycle through. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. To Bluetooth. The radio motor.
So as you can see, we've got FM radio. Nation. Everyone's struggling with procrastination. So, I, I really don't they have... Their list between no aux input motor. And we're back to aux. So I'm going to turn this guy off for now to finish up the review. Uh, again, there's nothing that I really have bad to say about this. It is an off-brand. I've never heard of B-Grit before. I'm glad they contacted us to give us the opportunity to review this speaker because, again, the bottom line is $15.99, free prime shipping to get a Bluetooth speaker that has all of these features built in. Now the battery life isn't going to be uh, stellar. You're not going to get 15 hours of battery life out of this. You're going to get four to five battery uh, hours of battery life out of this guy. Um, we got almost five at about 60 to 70% volume. Uh, and it does take about an hour and a half to recharge it. That being said, if you're not worried about that, uh, you can plug this guy in. Uh, very easily with your USB to micro USB and get it going. Uh, you can even plug it in and I'm going to, I really kind of do want to test this. I know I'm making this kind of long here, but I do want to test this on camera uh, to see if you can actually utilize the device while it's plugged in because as I hate to, as I hate to uh, admit, I would love to be able to have that question answered already. Now I've got a red uh, light here. So let's see if I can. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Well, uh, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that it's going to work with Bluetooth. And the Bluetooth device is connected uh, successfully. And we are Charging and playing. So there you go. Again, Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. This was the B-Grit N10 Bluetooth speaker. Uh, you pick it up on Amazon. Uh, highly recommended that you guys check this out for the price point. If you know of anybody that needs a nice, compact Bluetooth speaker that gets plenty loud, does the job, and gives you a ton of features. If you have any questions or comments about this guy, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please like and subscribe, and we'll check you guys out on the next video.